Is Britain safer within or without the European Union? With terrorist attacks in major European cities and the growing refugee crisis, it is a confusing and worrying time, and easy to vote with fear and not facts, because we all want to be safe. Britain is way ahead of the curve and can look after its own security. No, we need European intelligence to respond to transnational threats. But security services in the EU are uneven. Great in France, less so in Belgium, they say. So, draw up the bridges so the terrorists can't get in. But, without an alliance, the French will allow the refugees from Calais into Kent. The EU meddles in our laws too much. What happens to British sovereignty? So Quilliam, a counter-extremism think tank, have put together an extensive, objective report analysing both sides of the argument from a security perspective. Taking into account the strained marriage of Britain and Europe, our island's mentality and changing identity, the internet and social media platforms giving rise to the age of behaviour, characterised by the rising connectivity and borderless communications and capitalised on by the extremists. It's explained in the report. We asked 20 security experts, policy makers, former intelligence officers, military commanders, policemen, diplomats and academics, Basically, some very clever people across six countries in three different languages on counter-terrorism and policing, counter-extremism, human rights, information and intelligence sharing, migration and border controls, foreign policy and defence. Brexit and its numerous implications has provided the basis for oversimplified arguments and uniform debates. Don't let security be one of them. Brexit. 23rd of June 2016. Vote with facts and not fear.